All right, I'm in the uh, Star Spangled Tournament. I'm in the opening round in the rookie division. Backside, back nine. Took a went out and shoveled gravel in 90 plus degree weather. So I am, uh, I am whooped, whooped. I tell you, that'll be good. Maybe I'll just be like muscle memory deal. Hole number one. What is hole number one? Let's go look at it, so I can remember. I think it's, I think it's my number two bag in the Kingmaker. Hole number one. Number two bag in a Kingmaker. Look at that. All right, here we go. Doing plus 10 on the drive. And I'm going to do plus 10 to the cup as well. I, I n normally do a negative number on this, but for some reason I've been doing a negative number and I've been under pulling it. So we're going to try... I want to see if I can get on the other side where I over pull it. Then I know what my range is. Plus 10 on the drive. Tim goes first. Now, what I'm trying to do is when I'm fully extended, I'm trying to be four rings of separation off of this transitional surface where it kicks out. And with max top spin, max side spin, max curl, no overpower trying to bleed myself through that gap and get into uh, what I'd really like to do is get in my short iron range or excuse me my long iron range isn't it great their path going through great to the left is uh, usually not good I don't even think a perfect would have been good on that to be honest with you Okay, from that point, I want to try and be about four rings off. Three, three, plus 10%, that'd be three, six. There's three, six. Max curl. Slight bit of overpower. Get it one ring great to the right. As long as it gets through that area right there, that where that finger where it sticks out. Okay, I should have a perfect shot from here. So those blind curl shots, if you've if you ever played Greenwich Point, there is a ton of holes. I kind of liked it, and I'm sure that there's probably some course that's out there right now that's in the like mid tours, like tour five, tour six, that has a lot of blind curl shots on it. But those are important shots to learn how to take. And the deal is, is that you'll constantly be changing your spot as your clubs advance. All right, I'm doing plus 10 to the cup. 1.1 times whatever the wind is. 2.2 See if we can hit this perfect. Oh, one ring great to the right. Arr! Can't learn anything off of a great. <laughs> Dang it. What's funny is how these holes can play different from that's why there are some of these holes that play the same but some of these holes like this hole that you're where you're shooting at it should it, it is uphill i like what my opponent's doing but i think that's where they laid up so it'd be nice if you get you can get if you bring a bigger ball out and really go for it you can get in the short iron range and it doesn't take that much more distance. You just need to be a little bit farther to the left so that you can stay in the fairway. With a bigger ball, the bigger ball is going to help you get your... Uh, I'm at... Nice. Nice. Nice shot. 
I'm at max club, so if you brought out a five power ball versus that three, you're going to be more towards mid. So, and if you try and pound it up there, you can get into your short iron range. I would feel like that I would make it a lot more often if I was in my short iron range, that's for damn sure. So it might be worth the risk. You can recover from way down there if you're in the sand. If you screw up early in the sand, like where my opponent was at in the sand, you're 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 kind of screwed. But you can recover. Obviously, my opponent did. Hole number eleven. Hole number two. All right, I got this once this week. Let's get this again. Okay, I got. I didn't do the push up. Let's see which way the wind's blowing here. Which way is the wind blowing? I still think you got to push it up just a little. So I'm going to take a like a half a ring. Navigator and a sniper. That's all I need. And I'm going to do a one one to one and then push it up a half a ring. And we had a pure headwind on the front. And I didn't push it up the half, and I barely, and I was a half a ring into the rough, and it pushed me back, and I barely made the shot. I didn't make it in, but I I did get up there close. It damn near ended up on the, in the sand. See what my opponent does for an adjustment. They did two eight. Getting it perfect. I'm getting a hole. Didn't pull it enough. I'm going to push it up just a little. Oh, and I hit it great on the other side this time. That's the worst side to hit it great on. Worst side to hit it great. Let's try that again. <laughs> in for a penny, in for a pound. You got to make now. I got to make the hole in one to save the save the the birdie. All right, I get a practice shot at it. Here we go. Three point six three rings. Three point six three, and I, from this angle, I'm not. I'm just gonna do the three point six three. There's three six three. Getting it perfect. Get in the hole. Get in. Oh, and I missed the rough again. I needed to. I needed to adjust it back another. I'm gonna have to look at that shot and really think about what it's doing there for the wind. So in that particular case, like pushing it forward a half a ring in that case wouldn't have been good. Like you're without wind, I would have had to pull it back a half a ring or pull it back more than the 10%, like do like a 30 or a 40% adjustment in order to get to that spot with that wind direction. I'm gonna have to go back and look at that and see and try and figure out what was going on with the shot. 
if it keeps doing that, then I'll just do what my opponent did where I put on more backspin and get in front of it and just go for it. You still got a great shot from there. All right. All right. Dropped one. Dropped one on a hole that I've made this week. Look at that. What kind of shit's that? Hole number three. Let's see if we can just charge back and pick it up. Which way's the wind blowing? All right. That wind's not blowing our direction. So I'm just taking my... I'm going to take this bag. Well, I could go for the... I'm going to go for the... I'm going to go for the rough bump on the right-hand side. Why not? Why not? If we can get out there on the course. That's a big if. Coming out of the first three, I'm going to have to make this shot right here in order to, to at least come out of the first three with some semblance of hope. Two, four. It's two, five. I'm gonna lean just a little to the right. Hitting it perfect. That was a dead center perfect too. Now I could get a little farther forward on it, but I think right here I've got the, the longest angle on that rough possible. But anything great to the left, you're screwed. Well, you could be screwed. <laughs> It's definitely a rough area to hit great to the right. Great to the left, the second bounce. If the wind's blowing the right way, I'm playing this hole in a different direction. I'm playing it to the other side where there's spectators. The spectators have to move out. Like nobody ever hits to that side. But there is a shot over there if you got a five power ball and you've got a tailwind. My opponent's more up in the, the spot. Like the farther up you get... Obviously, the shorter it is to so the cup, we'll have to see what kind of distance we got. See if I can get my sniper up there. Yeah, just barely. Let's pull back a little. Three, three. I'm not sure where I'm at in my club. I gotta be close to max, three, three. I am at max, three, three. I'm trying to remember where the hell I was at. <sighs> that was a one ring great to the left. Not enough distance. The one ring great to the left, you got to watch out that second bounce. So the second bounce, it's longer. It takes longer to get out of the rough when you hit to the left. So your second bounce has to clear. My opponent's probably more towards mid club. I was definitely at max because I had to pull back in order to work out some of the wind. You can see it doesn't show it there. They've smoothed this green out, but the green still reacts the same way. See how the tail is curling down, and so it's breaking to the left. And then on the other side of the cup, it kind of the the green fairways out or flattens out in bowls. But coming up to trying to get it to go to the cup, you've got that break to contend with. damn hole all right eagle supposed to get an eagle got an eagle nothing special dropped one in the first three. First set not good didn't pick it back up
Now there's one of these par threes that I feel, and it might be the next hole, that I feel like I got a great shot on. Exit. Let's go look at hole number 13. Hole number 13. What is hole number 13? All right, I do have a shot on this one. This is with a katana. Let's make sure I'm using a katana. I am. That'll work. That's all I need is a katana and a grizzly. I'm not bringing my putter. I'm not bringing anything else out. I'm just going out there and going to get a hole in one and then move on to the next hole. So no matter what Andrew does, they're not going to have to work too hard. Andrew goes first. On the front, it seems to me I always use a par a three side spin ball on this and I I thought you just snap it to the three side spin but for some reason I couldn't get it lined up quite right I had to back off the side spin just a little and I haven't watched the video to see how much it was it was probably like it was at least two and a half two and three quarters I backed off just a little nice shot nice shot Very, very nice. Five point seven rings. And this is a sucky spot. There we go. 5.7 rings. Five seven. Oh. If I was gonna hit it great, that's the side to hit it on. Woo! In the hole. That will work. That works right there in the hole. It's a draw. If you hit a great to the left, it's definitely not good. But like hitting it to the right, it's just going to go further up the hill. So you still have a good shot of it going in. Hole number 14. Hold on one second. All right, I'm back. We're playing D and D tonight, so everybody's calling with their time frames. All right, I got to make this shot. Which way's the wind blowing? It's neutral. I'm gonna take a Titan and an extra mile. My number one bag. Here we go. See if I can, I actually was able to get it on the front, but I came in on the left-hand side and hit one of the trees and I bounced off the tree and ended up in the fairway. So if you can't be good, be lucky. Even a blind squirrel can find a nut. <laughs> Let's see if we can get it a little more consistent where it's just like in the, in the deal. See if we can get a hole in one. It's doable. It is a possibility. It's on the table. I go first. Let's see. Let's see if we can get her done. Four five. I'm gonna do a five. I'm gonna push a little bit of wind back in. 
and then rub the nubs in the perfect. There's a spot out there. If you hit it, it'll roll flat. That's the flat spot. It'll get caught up. Ooh, just barely got out. <laughs> There's a flat spot out there. If you hit that flat spot, it it it's like on the downhill. On the down, there's like a little pocket out there on that that pad, and it'll take a flat hop forward and end up in the sand. Whereas if you're two inches back from it, you're at the top of the lip, and it'll take a normal bounce and get over there. So. It's not a bad spot though. It's a very makeable spot. It's not a gimme, especially with side wind. Very nice. Yeah, if you can get it to roll like that, that's perfect. That works awesome. Nice. Very nice. perfect hitting it perfect get in the hole perfect from that distance it probably would have went in on a great to the left or the right but it's pretty close there is a spot there's a, a certain distance you can get out where you've got to hit them perfect but when there's a certain distance that you're close enough that you can hit a great to the left or the right and it doesn't really matter but I'm glad we didn't have to find out on that one. Perfect. That works. Good game. Good game. All right, getting the eagle on that one is a must get. So we can't get too excited on that. We really need to get that eagle. We may not always get it, but we, we really need to always get it. Every time we get it, I mean, that's the... That's a big bonus. All right, this hole right here. I've been hitting it out there too far. Let's see which way the wind's blowing. Whew, that wind's going to be a little brutal because I don't have really any five power balls here. So we'll use a 444. That'll at least help cut it down. I'm going to use my APOC. And I'm going to go for. I wrote some notes on this. I'm going to do. Uh, but I didn't write down how much backspin I'm going to use. I think I used, I'm going to use like one backspin. And I don't need the back, I have room in front of me. I'm just, if I use the room in front of me, I'm actually hitting it too far. And so I, I want to hit it back a little bit further. So the apex of the arc. So what's happening is, is there's trees right here. And, and I'm getting so close that on my up shot, I'm clipping the trees. And if I was back a little bit further, the shot would be like this. And this is where the apex is at. And I can move that back so that I've, I can clear the trees better and really go for the dunk. If that makes any sense, any sense whatsoever. My sister, I my sister watched one of my videos one time and she's like, that shit made no sense to me whatsoever what you were talking about. <laughs> I'm like, well, I'm not shooting the game for people who are shooting videos for people who don't play the game. <laughs> she goes, obviously. <laughs> What do I have on here? 20%, so that'd be five, so it'd be a three. That'd be two rings. It puts me about a half a ring into power. Max curl, little teeny bit of overpower. Oh, no, that's bad. That was good to the right. Shit, I won't even hit the island. At least I didn't end up at the water. I still have no shot from there, but like it could have been worse.
could have been a lot worse. We do have a free shot here, though. As long as I end up in the fairway on the next one up close. So we do have a free shot. We could try We could try something crazy. We'll see if like any shot at all is possible. If it's possible, we're going to take it. It's one of the cool things about the Spitfires. It's got tons of topspin. So if you do a max overpower hook shot, it can go a long ways. My opponent might be in that. Now, there is a shot to just hit on into the rough. Because if you're from there, you can recover with a Nirvana easy. Easy. But I can't get to that fairway. If I could get to that fairway, I'd be fine. I can get to that fairway, but if I could get to that fairway, I'd be okay. Let's see if we can get over there. I can't believe that I was able to make it over to that fairway. Get on the fringe. Excellent. Excellent recovery. I figured it would clip the rough and bleed out into that fairway and I'd have a long chip, but I'd be on the green side. It's a little... It's not, I can't say that it's flatter over there because there's nothing flat on that side. But if you look at the angle to the cup, at least you're coming in where you're trying to avoid the hill. What's funny is, is that I'm not that far away, but I actually have, this isn't, and what I would do, I've been in this spot that my opponent's in right here. And I will tell you that if you put that backspin on there, there's a good chance because of the way that the, it's contoured, that it'll suck it completely off the green and you'll roll all the way down to that rough. It's better to actually use the backboard backboard and try and get try and roll forward a little bit and let it use the backboard and then roll back down to the cup. But you do have almost a free if you hit it good right here, it's still gonna end up on the green. And they damn near hit it good to the right. That would have rolled down. That would have been super close. My nice shot. My nice shot. I should be in the hole. In the hole. Recovered. I wouldn't want to have to take that shot from down there in the sand. I got a little lucky that it got enough carry to reach the fairway. One of the cool things about the Spitfires have, they do have some, some curl, but they have all that topspin. So if you do a max, if you can do a max overpower hook shot with it, it's, uh, it goes a long ways if it clears. Woo! Avoided another drop. Look at that. Hole number 16. Hole number 16. It's hole number 7. Three more to go. All right, all right. I'm trying the bounce over. Hole number 7. That can't be right. I wrote that number down for the other, other way of playing it. Here we go. Here we go. I'm playing it at 0.9 per ring. I'm using a, a no. Uh, if I'm playing with my sniper, it's one per ring. And I am playing with my sniper, so it's a uh, 4.2, 3.55 rings. Let's 
try from this spot. Three five five. In it perfect. Does it feel like that ball is going to go too fast and end up off the back? And it'll catch the roll and a roll all the way down to the bottom now. Now, if I'm lucky, it'll get to the fringe, but it won't. And that doesn't look like a long putt, but on this hole, you can get into some spots where you have some really long putts, and at the bottom on the back, it cups. So it rolls down the green and then there's kind of a hollow and then it comes back up to where the rough is and it's very easy if the ball goes all the way to the bottom it'll just get caught in that bowl. You'll think it's going down the hill and it'll roll out and, and end up on the fringe but when it gets to that bottom part of the green that last square it dips and it gets caught up and it will never roll out and those are impossible putts. That wasn't the shot. The shot to take is the one where you're you're up closer on the left hand side and you're two rings of separation off that sand so that you can tighten up your ball guide. You can actually put a little bit of backspin on it and tighten it up and it'll flatten that ball guide out. I remember why I quit playing that, because I I if you're playing off to the side like that where you're farther away, you've got to the roll off. This will be a difficult putt for me. <laughs> There's the center. Getting it perfect. In the hole. I don't like the ones where you're below the cup. You got to move it to the side. See where the ball guide shows up and where it doesn't show up. The, the difficulty there sometimes is, is you got to make sure your tail is going through the cup. So you want to pull it off to one side or one side, whatever, whatever side you can see the best. On this particular hole, it would be the left hand side, whatever side you can see the best. And make sure your tail is sticking past the cup because it's easy when you get into those spots where the tail, the ball start, the hole starts to glow, but your ball guide's not actually all the way through the cup. And the ball will come up short. I'm sure anybody who's played this game for a long period of time has had that happen. And it sucks. Hole number 17. Hole number 17. All right, which way's the wind blowing? Uh, that wind's not helping us. So I'm gonna, and I'm changing how I'm playing this hole. I'm gonna play this hole. I'm playing it to the right, but I'm gonna play it with a bigger ball. And I'm, I'm gonna stick with the bigger club. Now what I'm trying to do here is that where I've been getting is I've been getting like out into this zone so you got a straight up shot at it and so if we draw a line from there to here and we do our arc for our club you know like if I got out to that spot or if I was right there I'd be the same I'd be the same distance here as I am from right there I'm trying to get into this hollow and with a four power ball to see if I can get into my maximum short iron range instead of my minimum long iron range. So I'm trying to get inside the circle. Maybe I can do that. Maybe. We'll see. And with the bigger power ball, it'll get me to my short iron faster. So if I can get to my short iron, even if I had to do, I can't do, I use a Kingfisher and it doesn't have a lot of top spin. But I prefer to use my short iron with a little bit of backspin so you can flatten the tail out. We'll see if we can get up there. I don't know if it's possible. It seems like it should be. I think the key is the backspin. I've been dicking around with I think Dunner was using one backspin on this. And I've been flirting around with less, but I think some more backspin will work. Three. Should be two rings. 
And I'm going to do just the two rings. I'd rather be off and have a little more separation from that sand. Hitting it perfect. And see if I can clear the sand right here easily. I could have pinched myself. I wanted to give myself a little bit of separation down here. So if you hit a great to the left, which would actually in the long run on the other end be a, be like the perfect spot. But that's only if you can survive the first bounce. So I was trying to give myself as much room on the first bounce as I could. Dunners just got home. So it looks like uh, we, I can play another round. Or I can at least start. Maybe. I don't know if I'm going to get my 77 account in. i got actually got to clean up and I've got to take a shower. Trying to get my yard projects done. I'm trying to have a yard sale tomorrow, so I'm trying to get the driveway cleaned out and all of the stuff done. Maybe. All right, where is my short iron? Right there. Oh, we got a hornet in this account. Let's pull back from the red line a little. So two nine. I'm just gonna do the two nine. I'm gonna do three. Three one. Oh, and then I hit it great. I haven't hit it perfect into the hole here yet. Damn it. Damn it. And I was in my short iron, but I had to put on that top ten. That was way too much. It felt like it was way too much, but the ball guide was the ball guy was definitely lying to me. <laughs> it's the first time I've been in where I could actually take this shot with my short iron. I need a little bit more distance or a five power ball. I do have some of those five five side spin, and the five side spin would help out on the drive, but they have zero wind. So I just have to deal with it on the other side. It's just a wind adjustment, damn it. Right back to the red line. Little teeny bit of overpower. Just rubbing the nubs, yep. Perfect. They were leaning a little to the left. Close. No cigar. Now if the wind's blowing tailwind, I'm hitting it through the trees every time. Every time. I'm glad I didn't hit that great on the last one. The last one I think I would have missed it. This one I got a little lucky hitting a great that far away. This green's a lot smoother. If you're on one of those greens that has a lot of movement and you hit it great, you're hitting higher up the hill so it rolls down more to the one side or the other and it can get off track by the time it gets to the end. Hole number nine. Hole number 18. What are we at here? What is hole number 18? I'm giving away shots to my opponents. Now... See which way the wind's blowing. I, I'd have to burn a bigger ball. I think in this account, I'm just going to do the max overpower hook. In my other account, I'm trying a different way of coming at the hole because of the new pin placement. So with the new pin placement, I'm working on another shot. I'm going to bring my rock. The rock. The rock.
If I can find an opponent. Maybe. Maybe. Might as well start getting undressed. I'm doing the strip show. Taking my boots off. While we're waiting for an opponent. We're waiting. We're waiting. Four scorer. I go first. Oh, one backspin. Let's try that. Three, two. There's three, two. See if I can catch the fairway of a stick. And that'll still be a good shot from there, but I was kind of hoping that I would catch the fairway. A little teeny bit more backspin. What happens is spin does the backspin doesn't take effect until the ball hits the ground the very first time, and it takes a huge, I mean, as it's coming. shortens up that bounce as well maybe like one and a half and then it'll make a jerk to the right what I'm trying to do on my main account is exactly what my opponent's doing I'm trying to get way the hell out there on that peninsula and bridge the gap to get way out in front of those trees because there is a short iron shot you can take from down there to try and go to the cup for the new pin placement but it also works for the old pin for this pin placement now it's whether or not you can bridge that. You're not going to do it. You can recover from there though. You just have to be creative. I'm going to have to get creative. Shit, I'm four rings into power. Definitely short. Whew. Luckily, I got out. No, I was, that, that's exactly the deal. I, I knew when I pulled that that I should have put like two more top spin on it against that headwind and then I would have came out pretty nicely but at this point I would I would forego trying to get the shot and make sure that I stayed the hell away from those trees and go more to the right and try and use that dreaded word, word curl and they put curl on it they 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 don't need to put the curl on there from where they're at. Hitting it perfect. Then what do I know? Getting a hole. Close. Close. All right, we'll see if wind was a factor. Woo! Wind was a factor. I think in that shot I could have hit a great 
to the left are perfect and it would have went in, but a grate to the right probably would have missed. It would have been close. I was trying to hedge my bet there. Eagle. Good game. Good game. All right, 27 is not what we're looking for. We're looking for a 30, but you can't get a 30 when you drop shots. How many did I drop? I dropped hole number 11. There's one. I'm having a pretty good run from 3 to 6. And that was just a brain fart. I was trying to do that rough bump, and that rough bump, the wind change stuff, I'm going to have to adjust for the... If we have a headwind, I need to push it forward. If we've got a tailwind, I need to I need to pull it back, I think. I need to go in the direction of the wind because I'm going to have to go back and watch the videos to see what was going on. Because I barely, and I mean barely, hit the rough on, on hole number two. And then missed it twice on hole number 11. <laughs> there we have it. Minus 27. Thanks for watching. Hopefully everybody has a great tournament, and I will uh, see if I can get another round in with Dunner. Be safe.